You should smoke weed off stream. Uh, I don't smoke weed. Uh, I've never really been into that kind of stuff. I know that a lot of people are really, really into, uh, you know, smoking weed and, and all of that other stuff. To me personally, I, I, I don't know. It's just never really been uh, appealing to me. I feel like a lot of times, and this is like my personal opinion, I, I, and this is also like, I'm not really judgmental on people that smoke weed or anything like that. I think if you want to do it, then go ahead and do it. More power to you. I think they should make it legal, etc. But I, I feel like if you have to use drugs to get out of a certain state of mind and to forget about your life situation, that maybe you should try to change your life situation. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like that's kind of not really the, the best way of coping with and dealing with that kind of a problem. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and like, I think everybody does that to an extent, like an, ex an escape, right? I mean, I, I do that with WoW. So like, is it a little bit hypocritical for me to say that? Yeah, I, I think it is. But doing drugs is, it's not something that I really promote. Uh, I, I don't think that anybody should have to do drugs. Uh, I, I think that for certain medical conditions, uh, you absolutely should. But other than that, uh, I think that for recreational use, it's important to just be yourself and, you know, live life in the way that it's intended to be lived. And if other people don't want to do that, that's fine. I, I, I'm not really, as I said, I'm not really judgmental about this. I don't care. But this is just the way that I live my life. That's all there is to it. Intended. Yeah, I mean, and again, I, I know this might trigger some people that, you know, they're really into doing drugs. They like drugs. They love drugs. That's fine. Uh, I, I'm, I'm fine with... Wait, that looks like a dick! That's a dick. 100% that's a dick. That's a hunt. That's a hundred percent dick, dude. Why? Well, I'm gonna screenshot this. To keep track of. It. I'm gonna keep track of all these dicks. Look at it. It's like the, you've got the head with the tip right there, the cum seeping down off of it, the mushroom tip right there, and then you've got the shaft going all the way down to the fucking bottom. Like this is the holy fuck, man. It's a dragon dildo. Well, yeah, it's something like that. Holy fuck, dude. Uh, monkey dick. Yeah, it's a big old dick. Holy shit, okay. I, I bet Blizzard puts those in the game on purpose. Like, you've got all those devs over there? Yeah, there's no way they're not putting dicks in the game on purpose, 100%. All right, what's your best father-son moment? I really don't know. Uh, it, I mean, I it's not, and that's not like a negative thing. I just have to think about it. Like, I mean, there have been a lot of good moments I've shared with my dad. Uh, you know, like, it's, uh, I have a pretty good relationship with my dad. I always kind of have, uh, you know, obviously. You know, whenever you're like a, you know, a, a teenager and like your dad's trying to get you to do one thing and you don't want to fucking do that one thing. You want to do this other thing, but your dad doesn't want to fucking do that because it's stupid, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously you're going to have arguments with your dad regularly and, you know, like he's going to get pissed off at you. But for the most part, everything's fine. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, has dad ever come to the room while you're masturbating? No, uh, never. Uh, it's never happened. Uh, I'm... It, it's... No, it's never happened. Uh... I don't know, I, I was trying to think of something funny to say about that, but like, I feel like if you make a joke about that, it could just like sound weird. So yeah, uh, no, it's never happened. Uh, straight up. Uh, what's this here? Check the inbox. Uh, see what you think about my thoughts on Shadow Gods? Okay, I'll, you know what? I'll read my mail after this too. Uh, I'll read my mail, because I haven't done that for a while anyway. So, uh, I'll go ahead and get that out of the way after this. Probably don't think it's gonna happen, but you didn't notice. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I'm not, I, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing. Okay, uh, let's kill the boss. Do you think kids should be hit by their parents or they misbehave? No, absolutely not. I think any violence against your children is completely abhorrent and it's disgusting. Uh, I would never hit my kids for any reason at all. Uh, I, I couldn't imagine doing that. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, yeah, I don't believe in that at all. Uh, I, I, cause it teaches kids that the solution to problems is violence. And usually the people that think that the solution to, uh, violence, or sorry, solution to problems are violence, a lot of those people are in jail. And it's not how to be a functioning member of society. And uh, if you, I, I think that to a certain extent, you have to like lead by example. And the idea of like hitting your kids or anything like that and solving problems by hitting them and like, oh, I'm going to hit you. And that way you're not going to do what I want. I think it teaches the kid that hitting people is a good way to make them do what you want. And I think that's a really, really dangerous thing to teach a kid. And uh, especially like in, you know, today's day and age. So uh, I think it's a disgusting thing to do. And uh, I would never promote it at all. Uh, I think parents who hit their kids should have their kids taken away from them, honestly. It's absolutely disgusting. You should never hit your kid. Your kid's supposed to love you and trust you. You never hit your kid. Like, that that's the way that I feel about it. Uh, my kid's gonna get a whooping? I mean, you do whatever you want, right? But uh, I, I I certainly won't support it. Yeah, I, I mean... Uh, it's gay. I mean, like, you can say whatever you want. I just don't think that, like, there's no problem in society... 
other than violence that requires violence to solve. And the truth is that if you think that that's the case, you should be in jail because you're not a civilized member of society. Like, that's it. I said, well, war? Well, that's why I said inside society, like in, in a society where there's not like, you know, a, a battle or something like that. Yeah, I mean, no, there's absolutely not. Uh, you should never have to hit somebody. Uh, I, I've never been in a position where I had to hit somebody for any reason. Like, there's never a point where you should have to do that, ever. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know that there's a lot of hard asses in here. You know, grew up in the safe suburbs. And uh, maybe they think that they, uh, you know, watch a lot of MMA. They're okay with getting in fights. But uh, let me tell you something. My dad lives his life on painkillers. Constantly. He has to take multiple painkillers every single day. Or he's in immediate nerve nervous pain because of all the fights that he got in as a kid. It's terrible. It's actually, like, really bad. I don't support that at all. I'll tell you guys something right here. I told this story before, but it's been a while. So, uh, you know, context is a little bit different. Um, so my dad made me go to a, a high school that I didn't want to go to because uh, he, he wanted me to be a successful member of society rather than just chill around and chill out and fuck around with my friends for four years. But I said to my dad, I'm like, yo, fuck you, dad. I ain't going to do that. I want to chill with the boys. I don't give a fuck about this whole school shit. And my dad's like, OK, well, we're going to make you go to this good school. So you've got a better life. And I'm like, I don't want a better life. I want a life with my fucking friends. And so my dad, so I thought to myself, I'm like, well, what does my dad want? My dad wants me to get good grades and do well at this school. So what can I do to make my dad not do the way that I, the, what I wanted him, what, what he was doing, right? I was like, I just won't do anything at school. That's easy, simple. I won't do anything at school. So, so this was basically the idea, right? I'm not going to do anything. Fuck it. And so I went over and my GPA at the end of my first, uh, my first semester of high school. Point. Zero eight. I had to try for that. So my dad at that point, he was like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to put you at the other school, right? And so my GPA was fucked ever since the beginning, right? Yeah, points, you're right. Well, yeah, oh, oh, and by the way, it worked. He transferred me to the other school with my friends. It worked. And, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. So, like, I, that, this was like a, a conscious effort decision. Yeah, is, is this a genius? Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> hey, I mean, people, like, I, I, he always, like, whenever I was young, he would always tell me, like, he'd always want me to do different things. Like, I don't know, like, I, I think everybody has, like, you know, like, in retrospect, like, there are some things that my dad did that pissed me the fuck off that I would never do to my kid. But a lot of the things that my dad did, I'll do those things too, right? It's like, I get a spelling test. I get a test back. And I'd be like, Dad, I got a 97. He'd be like, what'd you miss? You know? You know, like, what'd you miss? You know what I mean? Like, why the fuck do you ask that, man? Like, what do you mean, what'd you miss? Fuck you, Dad. Like, give me a break. Like, I'm trying to do my best here. And, uh, yeah, that would drive me insane. Uh, I'll be honest, it would. But, uh, you know, I, I know that obviously, like, you know, he just has very high uh, expectations for me. And uh, he's always been the same, right? Negative reinforcement? No, he just, like, I mean, everybody in, like, my my family is kind of like that. But uh, it's, I, I don't know. I, I was, I, it pissed me the fuck off. I'll be honest, okay? Well, let, let's just be real here. Uh, don't fucking have kids? Well, no, I, what do you mean? Like, uh, I, why? Because I... Because I, I, I'd be kind of a dick sometimes, like I'd want them to do well in school. Yeah, I, yeah, I shouldn't be a dick for that. Absolutely not. Um, what the fuck is this? Why am I disarmed? Okay, we're good. I assume you're in a great mood today. Of course I'm in a great mood. The fuck, man? Uh, if you got that 100, you'd have gotten the cheese on your burger. No, my dad never believed in that. My mom was the one who took me to Chuck E. Cheese if I got an A on the spelling test, not my dad. Uh, my dad was like, oh, good job. You did the thing that you were supposed to fucking do. You know, like, uh, he didn't care at all. Uh, but yeah, it was my mom that cared. Uh, that's really what it is. Oh, right, the Reddit thing. So, there was a post about me being, you know, a piece of shit or something like that on Reddit. So, I go there, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Uh, you know, I've been thinking, there's a lot of people have, like, accused me of this before, and so I figured, uh, you know what? I'm gonna make a post and explain myself. Nobody cared. How'd that go? Nobody cared. I was so mad, dude. I spent, like, 40 minutes on that post. Like, I was in 40 minutes writing that fucking post, and, like, nobody gave a fuck. And there wasn't even any responses, really. They're like, oh, nobody can. We don't care. And it's like, I, 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 it's like, what the fuck, man? Show the post? Who cares? Uh, the point is the same. 
I was fucking mad, dude. I'll be honest. I spent, I spent like, I spent 40 minutes on that post. Nobody read it. Nobody cared. That's the last essay that I write on Reddit. What a mistake. Jesus Christ, man. I was pissed. Not happy at all. Lincoln at all. What? what? <laughs> that's, let's be real. That's not going to be your last fucking essay. <laughs> well, sometimes I like to write things, you know? And, and like, well, I was why, but you roast me for that, asshole. Yeah. Don't ever roast me for reading and typing on Reddit again, you cunt. At least I don't do it every day. I do it like once a Mr. month. I don't, I don't give a fuck, but let me write out a fucking essay about well, Sometimes shit. I want to write something, right? I mean, it's like, I, I don't want to write something to get my I thoughts do. in order. You know, like, I mean, I, I think about these things. Yeah, it, it's like it might not have, it doesn't affect me. I don't have like mental breakdowns or somebody ha says something mean to me or whatever. But yeah, of course I want, I want to explain myself sometimes just so people can see where I'm coming from. Yeah, of course. It's not bad. Why well, do the same thing? All, every day though. Like you do it every day. So what? I don't have anything better to do than reply to retards on Reddit. That's true. That is actually true. Yeah. And they don't have anything better to do than just make talk out shit, of context dude. clips. Just talk so shit, dude. It. Yeah, fuck them, man. That's the way it goes. I you stream it every day? Well, I mean, I, no, I stream the game. Like, yeah, but not red. I don't, I hardly ever even, like, I, a lot of streamers, like, open up by, like, reading and, like, watching, like, Reddit clips and all this stuff. They have, like, their own Reddit and everything like that. I don't really do that. I mean, I've thought about doing that before. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just not really what I do. And so, yeah, I might actually do that. would be a good idea. Mount off today? We might do a mount off today. We'll see what happens.